Well, what is going on, folks? How you guys doing? My name is Pete, and I'm here with my trusty companion, who is going to. I'm. I'm actually facing this way, so Tyler, it would be your left. So you turn left. Like look. Like this way. No, your left. This way. Yes. Yeah. So now I'm looking at you. Wait, wait. No, oh. now I'm looking at you. See, we're we're on different parts of the room here. Sometimes we we forget where we are. No, I know, I know. The, this this way, it just worked out better, unfortunately. But we are talking about The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 3. It's called Thank You. And my oh my, was there a lot going on in this episode. Um, and Tyler, before we uh, jump into it, just kind of introduce yourself to the people that don't know who you are and uh, what you do on YouTube. And, you know, I put your link in the description, so do that. All right, I am... Uh also uh, ZMZ Reloaded. I do zombie survival type videos and, and gaming videos. And uh, that's me. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, Short to the point. But yeah, so uh, this this was a crazy one. I really gotta say. I, um, I was doing a wrestling stream when this was live and I just everyone during my wrestling stream was like don't look at Twitter. Do not look at anything on social media. It's going to totally spoil it. Kind of like I'm spoiling it for you right now. But if you haven't seen it by this point, and you haven't heard about it by this point, I don't know what to tell you. We really need to pay a fond farewell to Glenn. Glenn Ree. I, I never knew what his last name was I, the whole time. He was just Glenn. But it's, his last name is R-H-E-E. -E, Glenn Ree. So I just, I just learned that today. So that was that was something new. I stay, but, I stay on a first name basis because I tried not to get attached too much. I hear you, man. And and you know what? I think that was actually the problem with me is that I allowed myself to get too attached to the characters, you know. So when yeah. someone when someone really important goes, you know, you get you get kind of screwed, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like in this situation. So um, before we go any further. Uh, shout outs to uh, Mark Bibian and Emmanuel Magana and uh, Pony Cuss and uh, MG, MJ Avell. I always do that. Uh, Jennifer Santana, how you guys doing? Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe. So, oh, uh, you can't hear Tyler? You should be able to hear him. You should be able to hear him. I don't know why. I just wasn't talking. I heard myself in the live stream. Did you? Yeah, well, at the very beginning. Yeah, you should be able to hear it. I it, on my um, it's recording desktop audio, so you definitely talk, say something. What is up? Yeah, it's going. It's working. It's definitely working. I don't know. The audio on for me. Uh. So anyway. You, you gotta turn the auto on by hitting the subscribe button. On. Oh, wait, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Your audio is just really low. I got to turn up the... Oh, I got to turn the audio up. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Is that, is, oh, okay. No, my is audio better? my audio was, was down. On there. Oh, all right. Yeah, so that's that's there. Yeah, uh, but it... Guys, tell me if his audio went up. Uh, but anyway, um, in, in this episode, there was a lot that happened. And I... And I'll be honest, I was kind of half out of it. Half out of it. Half, out of, you know, doing... Uh, my wrestling stream for like four hours. I was just so burnt from doing that that when I was watching the episode, I was kind of missing, you know, important important things that were going on during the episode. So maybe that's stuff that you can clarify because evidently, thanks to the last one we did, uh, evidently I didn't know anything. <laughs> I didn't know anything <laughs> about Fear the Walking Dead. I didn't know anything about the Walking Dead. Evidently, although I've only been watching it for five years, so I know nothing. But anyway. Um, in this episode, there was a couple of things I, I guess I was a little unsure of in, in what exactly happened. Now, when Glenn and Nicholas um, did, like basically detached themselves from uh, Michonne and Scott and Heath and those other people, where were they going to... Well, they were going to get some more supplies or feed or something? Weren't they going to get some dry food or something? What were they going to do exactly? They... Uh 
They were just getting ahead of the herd. They were just getting ahead of the herd. But why did they split up? Uh, that's the question. It, I, it, that's actually something I had a hard time following with the story. Is why exactly they they split up? Exactly. That's. Uh, I was confused. I was like, why are they splitting up? Like, what's what's in it for them to do that? You know, I, I, why didn't they stay in the pet store? That's my question. I, I didn't understand why that happened. Well, well, they went to the pet store to get covered because there was the giant horde of zombies coming, and they had two injured people, so they were trying to get away from all that. Right. No, that I got. That I, I totally understood. The part I didn't get is why Glenn and Nicholas didn't just stay there with them. Oh, oh because they were trying to make a distraction. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were trying to make a distra- uh, distraction, so... Uh, the horror that was coming wasn't going straight to them. They, you know, they could be distracted by something. Okay. All right. So then that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, now, I, I guess Tyler, if, since uh, how many times did you watch the episode? Did you see it twice, or did you just watch it the once? I watched it once. Okay. I, was, I was working on some editing afterwards, uh, but 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 I had it playing on in the background. Okay. Um, so from what you remember. In the yeah. episode, like what, what things really stood out most to you? I mean, other than the passing of Glenn, of him getting totally ripped to shreds, but what, what really stood out for you? And then I'll kind of just throw in what I, what really stood out for me, like stuff that you really take from the episode. Rick, I know Rick and that tough decision, like hearing the gunfire going off in Alexandria, and he can't turn away from what he's doing. Like, if he does, there's a potential gigantic horde of zombies coming straight for Alexandria, where his family is. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, if he doesn't go back, like, what if the people that, you know, ran in there, uh, the, the wolves, like, what if they end up killing everyone? Right, exactly. So so he's, like, going through this debacle, and especially at the very end of the episode when he's in the RV and all that stuff starts going down. So, so like, you can really see him, like, start to tear apart again. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I mean, the way he ripped into those those guys, th- those were the wolves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, those they, are the wolves that Morgan let go from Alexandria. They was like, no, just get out of here. Yeah. And then look what ended up happening. Because and, and Morgan fucked it up for everyone. I know, just because he's like a peaceful guy, you know. And yes, Pony Cuss, you're. You know what? I um, I don't know if you're watching in the uh, in the in the chat, Tyler. But on screen, I put that picture of everyone from season one. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and he, uh, Pony Cuz just said, where's Carol? It, I, I know. Why isn't she there? Maybe she wasn't there that day. You Maybe know? she was taking the picture. Maybe she was taking the picture. It's, it's very possible. <laughs> because her daughter's there. That's the weird thing. Yeah. Her daughter's there. Um, but, yeah, they split up because Glenn and Nick. Yeah, what Tyler said. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, if anyone in the chat has any questions, we have 11 people watching right now. So if there's anyone out there that, that, yeah, if anyone has any questions for us or any questions about what we thought about the episode in particular, uh, now's your time mm-hmm. to, to definitely put it out there. Um, so what was I going to say? Now, the part, the part that I knew was going to be a monstrous problem, because we're, we're kind of pulp fictioning this uh, review a little bit because I'm kind of jumping all over the place but um, when Rick is in the RV at the end and he is uh, is seeing you know the the, the two guys attack him and then he sees the other guys walking up alongside of the RV I'm like dude what is he going to do I honestly what I thought he was going to do this is me just thinking what I would have done is I thought he was going to try and start the RV and just hightail it out and just get the hell out of there you know what I mean but the fact that he shot up the side of the RV, I didn't, I didn't, I personally, me, did not see that coming. I didn't. But, you know. It's it's weird. I had my friends over, and uh, we were watching, and uh, my buddy, he got out of the Marines. And right when those people were walking up, he was like, man, Rick's about to just shoot through the side of that RV right now. And I was like, no, nah, see, what he's probably going to do is take one of them captive, kill the rest of them, but take one of them captive and try to figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, Rick just turns around and starts shooting through the side of the RV. And I was like, damn, dude, you're good. He was like, you know. It's just it, it, it's just what I'm good at. <laughs> of course. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just a killing machine, and we don't negotiate. Yeah. So uh, we just yeah. we just take care of business. Me uh, and Rick, you know, we have ESPN over here. 
<laughs> ESPN. What yeah, was ESPN. that from? What was that from? The ESP thing, and it's like we have ESPN. I forget what movie I, that was I, from. I think it was from Step Brothers. Yes, I think it was. Yeah. Um, yes, Jay Manning. Uh, Glenn's death was definitely devastating. I mean, uh, I didn't get to catch it live. I ended up catching the second showing after they did Talking Dead, and it. I literally was laying there and I was watching it and I was like, no way. Like, I was I was so upset. I felt like I was watching a friend die because, like, I was telling Tyler before this, um, before we actually did the review, I was like, hey, you know, I just absolutely can't believe that we, we grew five years with these people because he is from season one, you know? Like, as uh-huh. you can see right there in the picture, that's the season one cast minus Carol and her husband or whatever but i mean we we grew with these people we we uh, the character development was so strong especially glenn you know oh yeah because glenn was the guy who bailed rick out and earned rick's trust immediately in season glenn 1 is the younger version of dale being you know like the morally right person that always tries to do the moral thing mhm and uh seeing Glenn mature throughout the seasons and, you know, turn into the badass that we all know and love. And then uh, it, it ended. It, it, re- ended. it really did. Now, yeah. with Jen- I don't know if you're reading in the chat right now, but Jennifer Santana said, my reaction to Glenn's death was exactly the same as when Herschel died. And then I was like, God damn it, why? Didn't Maggie already lose enough already? Oh, my God, I know. When it oh. goes back to Maggie, I, I think I might cry. Man, cause well, because at, at the uh, at the end of the mid season of uh, season five, you know, they come out or Daryl comes out holding Beth, Maggie's out of the little hospital. sister, and you just see Maggie break down like she, you know, just straight into tears, falling on the ground and stuff. But now when she finds out that Glenn, that Glenn didn't make it back, I don't know. I, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. How are they? I mean, okay. How are they going to know? Right. How are they going to know? How are they going to know what happened to Glenn? Because let's be honest, there's not going to really be anything left of him, uh-uh. you know. And but you know, you know what they didn't show is they both fell into the horde of zombies. But you didn't see, at least I didn't. I didn't see where Nicholas's body landed. And it was. Well, I thought that too. I thought like maybe Nicholas's body fell on top of Glenn, and yeah. like the zombies were just like ripping open. You know uh, Nicholas's, you know body up, and it, it was just him protecting Glenn. But then I was like, either way, Glenn ain't being saved by that because they're gonna go right through Nicholas and then right to Glenn. Right. And so I had to go back and like just double check to make sure. And they were wearing two different color T-shirts, and so when you see Glenn on the ground, same color T-shirt Glenn was wearing. And I was like, oh man. Yeah, you knew. You just knew it was there. Now, what everyone's saying in the chat, uh, George said, I can't see Glenn coming back, obviously, but but I hope he does. He's been my favorite since episode two when he was first introduced. Dude, trust me. I know it sounds ridiculous what he just said, but it's it's the truth. I, I really, really wish there was some way Glenn could come back because it's like you need him. Like, Herschel was an important part, but he was not a season one character that really held people together. He held the group together, and he was the voice of reason. He was like the grandfather of the group, no lie. Yeah. But Glenn is such an important character, you know what I mean? Like, the way he died in the comic book, from what I heard, he got, like, maliciously beat, like, with a baseball bat or something by um, uh, that Negan or whatever his name was or whatever. Don't tell me! No Negan spoilers for me. I don't know. This is what I heard. This is what I heard. This is what I heard. I don't know if it's for sure. I well, I mean, it. obviously, this can't spoil anything because now we know that's not true. I guess, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Dre, Jay Manning said they were going to start a fire as a diversion to draw the herd. Yeah, I guess that would work. Akuma King said his death was shot weird. If he did die, they would have shown his whole stomach getting ripped apart instead of his chest. Yeah, but I mean, like, you saw his intestines and stuff being ripped apart. And they were, he was, like I was telling Tyler earlier... Glenn was watching his intestines be ripped out and eaten in front of him. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty yeah. devastating. Uh, Mark, I actually did not catch Talking Dead. I, I did not. Um, from uh, Mish780, uh, people are arguing that Nick couldn't have shot himself because they ran out of bullets. Therefore, it was all a hallucination. But I don't know about that. I'm so upset. I'm upset, too, really. I don't know. Is that true? Did they run out of bullets? Oh, they did. They did run. Actually, yeah, they did run out of bullets. She's right. 
because that's why they went to the knives instead. Remember that? And then they climbed up on the dumpster. That's an excellent point. How he just had one left in the chamber? He knew there was one left in the chamber. Yeah, yeah, but who's hallucination? That I don't. I, I'm just reading from the chat. I, um, people are arguing that Nick couldn't have shot himself because they ran out of bullets. Therefore, it was all a hallucination. But yeah, you're, it doesn't really answer whose hallucination that is. Is it Glenn's hallucination? I don't know. Because if if it were, if it really was Glenn's hallucination, then why is he hallucinating in the first place? Right. You know, what it's if, like Glenn isn't actually crazy, so... <laughs> what if Nicholas landed on top of Glenn, so they ate Nicholas? You said the t-shirt, right? Yeah, yeah, because they were wearing different, you know, t-shirts. Right. Uh, George, yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. Unless... Unless... The, the Nic- the, this was Nicholas's hallucination, and they were never actually caught in the alley in the first place. Do you think they would screw over America like that? <laughs> That's no. The uh, in, the, in the Talking Dead, they actually like said like, no, this isn't some like, you know, like Houdini turnaround thing. This is, you know, it happened. Uh, but they, they they did say Glenn will be back in future episodes. But like, you know, they said it, it could be as hallucinations. It could be as uh, uh, flashbacks. You know, stuff like that. But right. So I don't know. But one thing is clear, Glenn did die. I know. That's and I wish it didn't happen, but it did. It's just it's just you know what it is like again, it's not like it was just some random per- person from yeah. Alexandria that we didn't give a shit about. Why you couldn't know? they just kill Carl? <laughs> I don't need that teen angst in my show. Like that's just you know the teen angst. Yeah. All right, let, let's take okay. Let's take a poll. We have a few people here. <laughs> Let, <laughs> let's take a poll. Who would you rather see die? Glenn. Type one for Glenn. If you'd rather see Glenn die, like he did, or two for Carl. I'm not saying. I, I personally, I wouldn't rather either. But I, I hear what you said. If I had to choose, yeah, Carl, obviously. Or three for uh, Judith. I'm not saying ninety percent of the votes are going to be twos, but ninety percent of the votes are going to be twos. Yeah, you know? of course, of course, because you know what, Carl is now like the little teen heartthrob like yeah. of the show. Daryl is for like the older group, and then Carl now is like for the little girls that are watching the show. Um, and here I am, like right in the middle, where like, you know, if I was a girl, I couldn't go either way. Right. Exactly. Daryl's too old for me. Carl's too young for me. There's just no one on the show that is, you know, 20 years old. Basically, yeah. (laughs) Now, Akuma King said, it's still very suspicious to me. I guess we won't know for sure until the next few episodes. Yeah, of course. Um, Wait a minute. Jennifer Santana said, on Talking Dead, they only had Nicholas put in memoriam, not Glenn, because the end quote just said, please don't let this be true three times. That is true. You didn't watch Talking Dead, or did you? I did, but they they did have him, and like the, the, you know, here is a thing of everyone who's died on the show. You know how they show all the walkers that die. Yeah. They show Glenn that died. You know they show Glenn dying. So they did for sure. Yeah. I actually have the episode on again. It's just playing on AMC. I don't know if you still have it on in the background, but, um, yeah. By the way, I'm I'm so glad that little dipshit that ran away in the woods got torn to shreds. The, I forget the kid's name or whatever. He just ran off now when they were all in the woods. Wait, when it. who ran off in the woods? That kid from Alexandria with the hat, and he ran off in the woods, and then they found him getting ripped to shreds in the town. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Again, I forget his name. Uh, Jonathan D- uh, Doomer said, uh, Nicholas has had hallucinations of the people he feels responsible for killing for multiple episodes. He was acting off the whole episode, so it could be just less likely that he had a hallucination of it, of killing himself. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it, we won't know. I mean, what, but... Wait, no, because that doesn't make any sense. Because he hasn't had hallucinations. They weren't I, hallucinations. They were, they were panic attacks. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. Because I never remember seeing any, like, weird hallucination stuff going on. All, all I remember him see, uh, seeing as Nicholas being a little scared bitch and then you know, stand there going uh, what's <laughs> happening <laughs> right yeah of course um, 
Let's see here. Uh, that's hard, but if I had to choose, it would be two. But I honestly wanted to punch Heath in the face. I know. There was definitely a lot of animosity against Heath uh, in the episode. That's That goes without saying, I think. Yeah. You know? He's like... He's like the black version of Nicholas at this point for me. He was. He was. Because, um... Nicholas, uh, Nicholas was from Alexandria, wasn't he? Or he wasn't? Yeah. He was. I thought so. Yeah, yeah he... He was there from the very beginning like everyone else was. See, look, a lot a lot of people are saying now that Glenn isn't dead. All right, let's take, a, let's take a poll. Now we have 17 people watching. So if you think Glenn is dead, comment 1 or 111. If you think Glenn is still alive and it was just a hallucination of Nicholas in his mind, type 222 or just 2. Uh, Pete, if you had the decision, how would you end The Walking Dead forever? That's a really – that's a big – that's a huge question, you know. I mean, that could go on forever. That's a hard one. It is. It, it really is, man. Because th- I mean, how how could you possibly, you know, like how could you possibly say like, you know, what decision would it be? Because it, is there ever going to be a way to end it? I doubt it. I mean, it's gotten so out of control, you know. You know how how I would end it if you ever watched The Mist. Then yep. I yeah. didn't just like that. At the very end, there's just like a bunch of zombies. It's Carl, his baby. Uh, no, it's uh, Rick, his baby. And then Carl, he can be dead. I don't care about him. <laughs> uh, but Carol can be there too. I like her. Uh, they're just driving in the car. And huge horde of zombies. The gas goes out. They're surrounded. Can't go nowhere. So Rick looks at Carol and Carol's just like, yeah. And so Rick just loads a gun up, shoots Carol in the face, shoots the baby in the face, goes to pull the trigger on him, runs out of bullet, starts freaking out in the car, going, ah, I just killed my baby, I killed Carol. And then all of a sudden there's a bunch of gunfire going on, then a huge group of military people just mow all these zombies down. And then Rick is just like, what the fuck? I mean, that's what did I just it. do? Because, because, dude, at the end of The Mist, which coincidentally had a lot of the season one actors of The Walking Dead. You know about that, right? I know, yeah, yeah. Okay, cause, and you know That's why. Because why. That. that was directed by Frank Darabont, mm-hmm. who did the original... F- I believe he was he was all of season one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. But I know he left because they, um, they, didn't, they didn't like the way he was doing things or something like that. Heath is yeah. not the black Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas, he's actually the opposite. He didn't want to leave anyone behind. Well, didn't Nicholas start thinking like the, the way Glenn did about not wanting to leave people behind? Isn't that kind of why he said thank you to him? Because he changed him? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I like, I don't mean who Nicholas was before. I mean who it, who Nicholas is now. Right. Heath is like the black version of Nicholas. At, like at this moment, doesn't want to leave anyone behind, but is still a total bitch. And okay, like for instance, when. You know, Heath has this mentality of never leave anyone behind, but but when they're leaving the store, does he go back and save the girl that's being ripped up by zombies? No, he keeps running away. Right. Did it, who, who's the first person over the fence? Heath is the first person over the fence. He doesn't help the guy that's injured over the fence. I agree. He's a total bitch. <laughs> and so he's a black version of Nicholas at this point. But you remember what you were telling me about, like, uh, actually, no, not that you were telling me. In your your video, your top ten video top five video of uh, yeah the stuff. I, thought, I, I thought he was going to be a character yeah you were like yeah you know he had his bro moment with uh with glenn and this and that well, they was... really had their bro moment this season oh they had or their this episode Dude, yeah they really did <laughs> they really they did. had their bro moment they did you know so that's that's sheer insanity yes evan you are a new walking dead fan that's awesome uh, Tyler, yeah. can, uh, people want to know if you can see the chat, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm reading them. Okay. So, I mean, feel free to jump in and, and jump in. Um, the Mist There's is... There's so much to talk about. There is. There really is. The Mist is a classic, and the ending was memorable to me. Oh, absolutely. I actually... They've been playing The Mist on IFC lately. I don't know if any of you guys watch IFC. It's an amazing channel. Um, holy crap, man. The end of The Mist, when he just... The blood-curdling scream after he just annihilates everyone in the car. He just kills everyone. Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. I could see the Walking Dead ending similarly to that, like basically like where they're completely out of ammo. It's like it's Rick, Carl, 
uh, Carol, maybe a few others or whatever, and they have like three bullets, four bullets left, you know? And they're like, okay, well, this is it. You know, this is this is how it's going to go down, you know? Where do people, like, see some of this stuff? What? Because, like, Jonathan <clears throat> said in the comments, Glenn was shown in the Walking Dead Season 6 trailer where he shouted, Rick is dangerous. No, that's not him. That's not, that's not Glenn. That was um, Ron, I think. Wasn't that Ron? If I'm yeah, not mistaken. Uh, it was, you know, I gotta pull this up real quick. It was, no, um... that's not saying Rick is dangerous, though. When he's saying it to the, to the mom. No, Evan, it's all good, man. Just settle down. You're all good. Uh, you guys should do more streams over the long night. Oh, yeah, dude, we did one last week, Mark. We did one yeah. for the first time last week. And now that we actually have some viewers on here, this is this is what we're going to do. That's what we're thinking of doing, doing it after every episode. Because I feel like, actually, I don't think there's anyone who uh, who does these, matter of fact. Um, everyone watching, I, I don't want to do like what I normally do because I have Tyler here. But make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. It really helps us out. Gets our video out there. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, type 1 if you hit the thumbs up. Type 2 if you haven't. Type three if you're subscribed to the channel, and type four if you are not subscribed yet. And type five if you're all of the above besides not subscribed. And type five if you have subscribed to Tyler's channel. Oh and shit! And type six if you have not. That's right, uh, Faisal. Uh, Glenn is gone, unfortunately. What's up, Anthony? And uh, yes, it was Ron. Uh, could Maggie be pregnant? Yeah, she's pregnant, dude. She could be. You never know. They didn't really, they didn't really mention anything about that. Can you imagine like Glenn's son goes on <laughs> or daughter goes on to be the new hey, well that's breed. our last hope of still having glenn around is his is his, his son is his kid yeah glenn yeah. jr faisal i i definitely can agree this is definitely one of the saddest episodes i mean um herschel dying was killer no offense not not no offense but <laughs> it was you know yeah. for lack of better words it really was a killer episode in my opinion you know could they ever kill off rick I don't. I just don't think so. What show? You wouldn't have a show, right? Yeah, that's true. Because mm -hmm. there are some things that I heard about Rick in the uh, in the comic, not him dying, but things happening to him that were like mm -hmm. pretty out of control. I don't know if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, but uh, from solid a solid snake, there was there when there was no bullets left. Right, exactly. Um. What was up with what was up when they ate Bob's leg in season five? Um, I, I I don't really understand the question. What was up with it? I mean, it was, you know, they were they were trying to eat because they were cannibals. Cause it, See, I mean, it was yeah, yeah, it was messed up. Dude, people are still look. New, there's we have twenty people watching right now, and there's new people in the room, and they're saying there's a good chance he could be alive. I I think people just want to hold on to that. I there think is no so, chance. I think the so only too. way. That I can see him surviving is if that was Nicholas's body that fell on top of him. Because I seen a comment earlier that said that he climbed under the dumpster. Who did? Glenn. R Glenn? Yeah, that Glenn crawled under the dumpster. Possibly. You know, when when Nicholas fell on top of him, like the only way that I could see Glenn actually being alive is Nicholas fell on top of Glenn. Glenn somehow was able to climb up under the dumpster and kind of just wait there. I, I kind but, of I kind of feel like like what you just said. It's people trying to hold on in any way possible. They, that, that's all I can see is just like them not wanting to let Glenn go and I feel the pain but it's it's like ripping off a band-aid the more you let it go on and the, the more it hurts just bam rip it off. Actually well I'm going to get a chance to see the the death one more time and I'll <clears throat> it's going to be coming up pretty soon uh, mm -hmm. about 20 minutes or so on the actual episode live right now on TV um, uh, Pony Cuss said I just rewatched the Glenn death they made it look like they're pulling guts out of his chest which is true that is true I, it was very weird which is anatomically wrong and the next episode it's going to end up being Nick's body <sighs> I don't know Dude, do you feel like... All right. Let's say that does happen. Okay? Let's say that that actually did happen and um, Glenn is alive. How do you think the fans are going to react to that? 
is the question. Do you think people are going to be like, oh, that's okay, good thing he's he's alive, or people are going to be pissed, you know? It's kind of like when you get to the end of a horror movie and you find out it was all a dream or something, you're like, oh. I feel like I feel like 20% of people will be like, oh, thank God, Glenn's alive. And then, I, and then the other 80% will be in a mad rage at the directors from, for putting in uh, them in that situation of, <clears throat> you almost had me lose my favorite Walking Dead character. Yeah. And I I was seriously depressed. I did all sorts of stuff to my body because I was so uh, upset. I, I was, gained 20 pounds in comfort cover, eating. I was cutting for, for Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Well, well, you... You know that in uh, Sons of Anarchy, when one of the main characters died off, someone actually killed themselves. In real life? Yeah, yeah, in real life. Someone actually killed themselves in real life because the main character from Sons of Anarchy died. Um, I actually did not know that. Um, Tyler, I'll let you take these because the, the chat's flying right now. I, I kind of want to get your opinion on what people are saying. Like, uh, Faisal, um, only, you know, he said a couple things here. Uh, ERI, Crowd, Crod, Seven, take, uh, kind of pick a couple of things from what people are saying. I want to get... Let's see. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of people in here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's... Well, 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 there's 16 people watching now, but there's a lot of comments going on. I'm, I'm trying to... I don't even know how to go through this right now. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll just wait for a good comment. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions or anything you want us to discuss as a topic, just go go for it. I mean, obviously, the Glenn being dead, is he dead, is he not, um, you know, is the is the big question here. Is he dead? Well, yeah, yeah, he's dead. But he's ever, dead. a lot of people are saying no. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm like 95% sure he's a dead. A lot of people said we didn't land on the moon. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I still think we did. I think we landed on the moon. Well, Why no, lie? I, I mean, now, it, like, it, it changed. Like, like, at first, a lot of people were like, we didn't land on the moon. That's That was some Hollywood trick. And then now it's like, only 20% of Americans think that's fake. <laughs> Which is still a really high number. Right, exactly. It really is. There's a lot of doubt. But really, what's the point of lying about it? You know what I mean? That's it. Just doesn't make sense to lie. It's like it's like the number of people that uh, see what see see what's a good thing here. Um. Anyway, a, a lot of people want to believe Glenn's not dead, or even if they think Glenn's not dead, they'll find out next episode that Glenn's dead. Right when Mag or if not next episode because it's Morgan's flashback episode, then the episode after that. Now here's the thing: Are we gonna see like? where one at some point you know uh, before they leave Alexandria or something you see Glenn come back all bloodied and Maggie runs up to him and like oh my god I can't believe it <laughs> you know like I don't think we're gonna have a moment like that you know I don't think it's gonna happen yeah. what about uh, all the stuff people are putting in the chat right now it was see it was an, it was a hallucination why did they why did they kill Glenn see they're they're actually asking you Oh, okay. Opinion. 26 people watching right now. Holy shit. All right, so weird stuff. Nick shot his right side while facing Glenn, so the splatter should have been on Glenn's left side, but it was on his right. Why? Well, well because you guys just gave the answer right there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if Nick was shooting himself in the head here, the blood splatter is going to be coming out that way, which would be on the side of Glenn's face that was being shot. When actually, that doesn't even make sense. Like, either way, a lot of the stuff in this episode doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. If they ran out of bullets, and then Nicholas shouldn't have shot himself in the head anyway. Right. And say he did have the bullets, the way the splatter hit the side of Glenn's face, like, it doesn't reach around either way. It would hit him directly in front of the face, you know what I mean? Sure. But him course. inside of the face. So, I don't know. This whole thing is just, it, it's just confusing. It's just easier to be like, Glenn's dead. It, I mean, it really is. I mean, why are we trying to hold on to it? Because he was such an important and impactful character. But is it worth it? I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it's worth trying to hold on to the fact that he might think, still yeah. be alive. I think the directors are smart enough to know uh, a character as loved as Glenn. Maybe we shouldn't trick the audience into thinking he's dead. Right. Exactly. Because <laughs> while while we do 
love the reactions of people. We don't like losing fan bases because we screwed them over and now they don't trust us anymore. Right, because you know people are going to be like, fuck this show. Yeah. You know people are going to get upset. Oh, I know. Uh, plus, the guy, plus the guy to save all the shenanigans for when Rick wakes up from his coma. Yeah, I'm worried about Rick too. So that's what Faisal yeah. was saying. I think the number of things that point to Glenn possibly being alive is evidence enough. This is the first time I've ever seen discussion of any character actually be, being actually dead or not. But you see, again, because of the talking dead thing, when they're like, please don't let this be true, please don't let this be true, I mean, they're playing mind games with you now. You know, it's like, well, could it be? I don't know. I mean, why would they go through all the trouble to get everybody all nervous, you know, for nothing? Well, because this is the first time that a main character has been killed for a while. Right. From the original group. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, the last time a main character was killed was in season three or four. Are we talking about, like, Andrea? Yeah. Like, Andrea was, like, the last person from the original group that died. I believe so, anyway. I think so. Michonne didn't come around till like, what, season... The end of season two. Into season three. Yeah. I think is when they introduced her. I mean, I still consider Michonne a pretty main character on the show. Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a main character, but she didn't come into the se- till the pitch till season three. But as far as, like, from season one, the only people that are... That, well, that was still alive before Glenn got killed was Glenn, uh, Daryl, Carol, and... Uh, that's it. Besides Rick and Carl. Right. So, I mean, that's the first time a main character has been killed off for three seasons now. And uh, that's that's probably what's getting to people. But now I'm going to want to know how Carol and Daryl survive, so I'm going to continue watching. True. Anybody else think Rick will lose his hand? Candy, that's what I've been wondering, too. I've been wondering that, because that's supposedly what happened in the comics. Uh, mm-hmm. Nick's guts will make the walkers attract to the guts spilling out. They will eventually scratch or bite him. Yeah, of course, exactly. Like you have, you have. Uh, did, did you see how far back the walkers went? It went on for like a mile. It uh-huh. w- where where Nicholas and and uh, Glenn fell into the pit. That we just went on forever. So yeah, absolutely. They were gonna rip right through Nicholas, and eventually they would have got right to Glenn underneath. And yeah. even if Glenn went under the dumpster, you're trying to tell me the walkers aren't going to be able to grab at him from there? You know, Honestly, if they were smarter, they should have just went in the dumpster. Yeah, they, they should have the walkers... just thrown out some trash bags, <laughs> lay down in the dumpster, and hugged each other until... Until they walked away. Well, I, like, I don't know if they ever would walk away, but... Well, they, until, until something happened where they were like, Glenn! <laughs> Nicholas! Like, it's, we're in here, Rick! It could, it could happen. You know what What really messed up my mind is when they were running down the alleyway and there were the stairs going up to the roof of that building. And I was like... Yeah, I was, that's what I was thinking. I was like, why didn't they just get on the roof? Yeah, and, and then they... I guess they passed it. And then, uh, and then what ended up happening was by the time they looked back, it was too late because the, the walkers had already passed that point. Yeah. But they probably would have had a little bit more of a chance, you know? Boys Burton, did they they didn't show Glenn on the Talking Dead memoriam? I thought they did. I have to watch it. I don't know. They do, yeah. What if there's someone in the dumpster? I doubt there is. Remember that epic van fall from the bridge? Yep, Mim Skeet, I do remember that. You got a person whose username is fat useless shit lump behind a black undertaker dildo <laughs> that, that commented big fat cocks definitely a very important part of the conversation that's a creative individual but yeah anyway um, yeah I noticed it might have been a hole under the dumpster that he crawled through like Rick in the tank <sighs> I mean this the I... dumpster was <clears throat> conveniently there with a sewage hole in it that he crawled through like Rick did R- R- uh, Glenn is going to be going through the sewer system now to get back to Alexandria. Honestly, if they did if they did that, I would probably have to quit watching the show just because <laughs> it would kind of be like when they killed Superman and then brought him back. Right. It's yep. like 
great. Now anyone that dies can just come back, and then it's just like it ruins it, it ruins the whole like he's dead thing, you know. And then we have to get used to the fact that they're dead. Right. And it's like well they'll, well, they'll come back in like another season. Well, the thing is, like, you know, I, I don't know. Who it's, it's really hard to say, but we we can toss ideas back and forth there let's put it this way there are some unanswered questions there was there was a few things like on talking dead was he in the memoriam they said please don't be true please don't be true um was was it a hallucination was there i thought they were out of bullets was there only one left in the chamber to to kill nicholas you know what i mean there's so many questions but you know let's be honest we could sit here talking about this for hours and we're not going to be able to come to a conclusion until we see what yeah. happens next. You know, that's just it's just what it comes down to. Uh, someone asked if uh, he was covered in guts. Uh, like, say, like as far as Glenn being under the dumpster thing, if that were to be the case, right? Um, with him being covered in the guts and stuff from zombies or whatnot, uh, c- couldn't he smell like a zombie and then uh, walk off like earlier episodes being undetected? And uh, maybe. I th- I don't think so because I mean we see Michonne walking with her 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 zombie pets and anything outside of doing anything like a zombie zombies are like oh crap you're not really a zombie and start attacking you right like uh like like Carol when she covered herself in that big old uh, drape of zombie guts and stuff mm-hmm. as soon as she started shooting off rounds the the zombies were like oh wait you're not a zombie <laughs> right exactly so. It really, in conclusion, when it all comes down to it, Glenn is no longer with us. He's no longer on the show, and it's just something we're all going to have to move on and and deal with because it's yeah. just, it just it is what it is. That's what they want. That's what they wanted to happen. But the question is, how many people are going to stop watching now because Glenn is is on the show? I'll be honest. Glenn was my favorite character on the show. Glenn, Glenn are you going to stop watching now? No, absolutely not. Of course not. No, I see. Well, then there's there's the answer. Yeah, exactly. For I, everyone, like I, I think maybe one percent of people. No, not not even one percent. Uh, like point zero 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 one percent of people will stop watching. Right. Of course. Like maybe a total of like one hundred in the world, people will stop watching. Rick needs. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's talk about Rick. We we pretty much yeah. harped on Glenn for a lot. Uh, John Reyes said uh, Rick needs to use the dead bodies from the wolves as bait for the zombies and run. Uh, I think that's definitely feasible. Um, You you know what also came to mind, which I wasn't sure about, was when he killed those the other guys with the machine gun. Did he shoot them in the head, or could they come back as walkers? Because I don't know if he shot them like in the chest or whatever. You know the guys. Either way, if they did come back as walkers, it's like that's not the. His biggest worry right now, since there's a horde, like hundreds of them coming towards him. So, so I guess Who's three more, you know. So I guess the question is, how does Rick get out of that? Or how far away is Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha? Yeah. How far away are they? They didn't kill Maggie. They well, killed. Well, they said twenty miles out was the green zone. Right. So they got to take the zombies twenty miles, and then that's it. Then they can turn around and come back. Right, but how, yeah, how are they going to turn around? Aren't the walkers just going to follow them around again? No. no, well, I imagine they're going to go straight until they find a road to eventually like come back around once they're out of the zombies' line of sight. You know. Oh, is that, and then the walkers are just going to keep going forward. Yeah, yeah, they'll just keep going straight until they run into some other people. Yeah, I guess be so. their problem. I, at first, I'd be—I'll be honest. I thought they were going to make the walkers fall into that rock quarry. That's what I thought they were originally going to do. You know, make them just, like, kill themselves and fall into the rock quarry, but I guess not. <laughs> that, would, that wouldn't be a bad idea. It's like, you know, that'd be a good way to get rid of, like, you know, 5,000 zombies. It would. Know, just have them walk off a cliff. It would. It definitely would. But then again, the, those dead bodies would pile up over time and probably just be cushions for the zombies. And they would just be able to walk away from it. Uh, or gl- something, I don't know. Walkers keep walking past Rick. Uh, I don't think they were walking past Rick. They were walking up to the RV. You know what? If I was Rick in that situation, I don't know if this would work or not, but I would wait until one of them turn into a zombie, kill him, use his guts and cover myself in them, and then just like kind of walk out of the RV like, ugh, <laughs> you know? 
just kind of like walk my happy ass out of there like a zombie myself. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's worked in the past. I'm sure it would work now. That would work. It could as work. Long, as, as, as long as he stayed in the RV and the other zombies didn't see him, you know, being human for a bit. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Um, just to kind of do a little bit, little bit more promotion for the both of us, my name's Pete. You're watching Tyler because we have 24 people watching right now. Um, definitely subscribe to this channel because we're going to try and do... Uh, post live streams after each Walking Dead episode. We missed the first one. Yes. Um, but last week we did one. People really enjoyed it. I have more viewers this week after the wrestling streams that I did. Um, so definitely hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And please subscribe. Uh, to not, not only to me, but I have Tyler's link in the description down below. Uh, YouTube.com slash Manifest Gaming TV. Uh, it would really mean a lot for me if you guys could go subscribe to him there. And uh, that would be awesome. So, um moving along with the with the Rick thing um, also did you notice that when when Rick was trying to start the uh, RV which we all knew was not going to start I mean yeah. anyone that knows horror films we know the, the situation with the, the, the car doesn't start anyway Rick uh, it looked like the door was open to the RV did you notice that like the, it looked like he didn't close the door because the guy ran in and he never closed yeah. the door. So I'm like, close the door. Close the door. I, like, <laughs> I was like, please close the Get door. Get paranoid. <laughs> like, oh, God. Right, exactly. So I'm like, please close the door. You know, it's just, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, they'll keep walking if Rick is silent. Maybe, but they heard all that gunfire, like, right there. And they weren't that far away. They're going to investigate. The, 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 the walkers are dumb, but they're not that dumb in that respect like they'll stick around and look around for shit you know mm -hmm. yeah I hope baby Judith doesn't die yet cause she makes my heart warm seriously babies are my weakness lol they're so cute yeah I don't think they're gonna go as far as killing a little baby you know like I don't think they're gonna do that not yet anyway they gotta wait for TV to get a little bit more edgier before they do that oh I know let me tell you if they if, oh my god could you imagine if they did a scene where they ripped the <laughs> ripped her to pieces oh my god that'd be fucking horrible dead baby jokes would be filling twitter feeds <laughs> oh dude like you know what I feel like people that dropped off from watching The Walking Dead would start watching again because the, the rule that my cousin Matt and me always came up with is you know a horror movie or a thriller is serious if they kill a dog or if they kill a kid. You know that yep. they mean business. They're, they're, there's no holds barred on that one. Yeah. You know? uh, how That's do, true. How do Rick and the crew keep getting into these messes? Wouldn't they learn? Oh, well, common horror. I mean, they're surviving. You know, that's really what it comes down to. They're They're surviving. You know, it's not... Well, well, like, it's simple. Like, this is a zombie apocalypse. You know, like, these are the kind of messes that don't go away. It's like, you know, why does your bank account go negative so often? You know, it's because these are common mistakes that us as people make in this right. type of world. Exactly. And so, um, they, they get in those situations because that's just what happens now. There's, there's, zombies are always going to be a threat. People are always going to be a threat. There is no like ultimate safe haven. And if there was, that would be a really boring show. It would be. Absolutely. You need you need the uh, the confrontation to happen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Mim Skeet said, I wish that Shane was never killed. Um, let's see. Wait, did I read that correct? Uh, wish Shane wasn't killed. <clears throat> There are parts of me that kind of want to see how Shane would live, how Shane would handle all of these situations, like the governor. How would have Shane handled the governor? Would he have tried befriending the governor? Would he have tried just killing him off real quick? Like how I want, like I always wonder. That. I think what Shane would have done was just killed the governor and all the people that was there. Yeah, because he was just ruthless at that point. He was like, Rick, you got to stop being a bitch and just take charge yeah. and fucking do. Shit. Shane would be the governor of. The Georgia group. Oh, absolutely. Well, he was starting to, in a way. Oh yeah. When he I mean, opened like, the barn, he, he, remember when he opened mm -hmm. the barn and just was blasting the walkers oh, yeah. and stuff because Herschel thought they were still people and his family didn't want to didn't want to let him go. Or he, whatever. Was, he, he was right about that. Maybe not the way he handled it, but no. <laughs> he was right in the sense of killing them because they were a threat. Right, they were right like, there where they were sleeping. But then when he tried to kill his best friend, his best friend of all people, that's when he was like, okay. Uh, he puts himself and 
uh, Carl and Lori before anyone else. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Misha. And that's exactly how the governor is. Exactly. Very true. Uh, but the governor's way about going about things was a little different. Like he wasn't yeah. like he was insane, but he wasn't like screaming and yelling and being aggressive. Like he would do things calmly. Like he would just walk up to somebody and be like, "Hey, how's that sandwich? Oh, this is great!" And just slice someone's throat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like not like just all ruthless. Like, um, yeah, guys, if you guys are enjoying uh, the live stream, uh, well, we say thanks for you stopping by for sure. Jennifer uh, posted a comment that says, "I think the wolves that." got shot might have messed with the rv and that's why rick couldn't get it started uh, uh that was that was because when that guy snuck in from the back of the rv to shoot rick he shot the front of the vehicle like the bullet shot through the dashboard and that's why he couldn't get it you know started because probably oh. shot something in the edge and that was important oh i i guess i missed that part Shit. Yeah, I guess I didn't even think of that. Well, it's like it's, it's it's probably one of those easy things to look so like look over because you're not looking for. Oh crap! He just shot the engine. You know, you're like, oh god, Rick's about to die. <laughs> um, here's a good question. Do you think they will start to tie in the game more with the TV show? Um, wait, start to tie the what in with the TV show? The Walking Dead game more with the plot line of the TV show. I'm not familiar with the game, so it's possible. Wait, are we talking about? The Walking Dead survival instinct. I think they mean like the tall, the Telltale version. I think the Telltale version. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, the Telltale version of the Walking game. I don't think they're gonna do that because they haven't done like a season two or anything. Well, they did a season two, but they haven't like connected it to Rick's group at all. Oh, gotcha. Uh, why do they use some of the most unreliable RVs on the planet? <laughs> well, they take whatever they can get. <laughs> You know, the, I, well, I think all the good RVs are being currently used right now. Right, exactly. Uh, do you guys think we'll find out what happens to Glenn next week? Uh, yeah, yeah. I I think we'll find out what happens to him. And, but let's put it this way: we already found out what happened to him. Next week will be uh, Maggie and the rest of the group finding out that Glenn is not there, like Carol and Carl and all of them, and Daryl. You know, but the question is. What I want to know is, Rick, ha Rick, and them have no idea where Lou, where Lewis, where Nicholas oh, yeah. and uh, and and Glenn ended up in that alley. They have no idea where they were, where they were. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, well, in the episode, Michonne was expecting there to be a fire. You know, to see smoke and everything like right. that. When she looked back and didn't see the smoke or fire, someone said that doesn't Heath. mean they're dead. Yeah, yeah. Heath, yeah. Heath, Heath was like, that doesn't mean they're dead. Right. Exactly. And Michonne's like. She's like, yeah, but in her head, she's like, that means they're dead. Okay, so I'm actually watching the episode still, and I'm watching the scene right before the Glenn and Nicholas scene where Michonne and Heath and Scott and the other guy are trying to climb over that fence, that gate. Mm -hmm. How the hell did Scott, the black dude, the guy couldn't walk, but he got over that fucking fence pretty goddamn quick, man. Let me tell no, you. Yeah. The, the guy couldn't even walk three feet, but he freaking hopped over that fence like a like an Olympic athlete. You His know? life was on the line, so he was like, "Screw the pain." <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Got, oh, here it is. Oh, yep, it's going on right now. All right, all right, Pete, look for signs where he could be alive. I'm watching right now. So the horde's coming. You can see, you can clearly see the fire escape mm. leading up the side of the building where they could have gone. All right, they're shooting. They're shooting. They're shooting. The dumpster's right there, okay? Uh-huh. Glenn's shooting, still shooting, and did, did he run out? I, I guess it's to be assumed that Glenn ran out of bullets because they pulled their knives out. I mean, so, okay, so now the, okay. the horde's coming. Watch the... I'm watch. I'm going to watch Glenn very closely, after, like really closely. Okay, so well, now... they go to a commercial break before they actually get to that point because they climb on top of the dumpster and then they go to commercial right actually they cut right back now to Michonne and the other group and the guy just got pulled down uh -huh. dude that guy got it so bad too oh yep. my god did he get it bad you can even see that he wanted to stick around To he was like is there anything we can do it's like dude there's nothing you can do they were just watching him screaming I mean, Michonne could have took her sword out and, like, you know, stabbed the guy in the face, so he, he was at least dead when this was going on. I'll be honest, though. I 
the, the, this guy, I forget his name, the guy in the white shirt that fell down the, the, the fence. I, yeah. Honestly, I think he could have gotten it way worse, to be honest. I, I'm like, he got it bad, but it looked like there was only two walkers that were biting on him when there was like a million of them there. So I don't know. Yeah. He probably um, could have gotten it worse. I mean, it's it still would be painful as hell. I mean, imagine getting the your back just like ripped open. Oh, like, I'm, just, I'm fine not, and everything. I'm not trying to dictate and say that it wasn't painful. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no way in hell am I trying to dictate that. I'm just saying it with the amount oh, with the amount of walkers. Okay, now they're climbing up. They're climbing up on the dumpster. Okay. Glenn, Glenn is up there. Nicholas gets up there, which I can't believe they had time to do that. But so now they're on top. Are you sure they cut the commercial? Are you sure about that? Um, I don't think I don't so. Know. I don't think so, man. Because this is right in the action right here. Okay. Watch closely. I am. So you could basically just see Nicholas is just... He's lost his mind at this point. He's just like... Like, he starts crying. Yeah, no, dude, this is it right here. It's going to go right into it. Let me tell you, man, The Walking Dead is picking it up with the makeup on these walkers. They're making them really look gruesome. The makeup is unbelievable. Alright. So. I agree with you, Skull's, co uh, Skull's co Coven. Yeah, yeah, he says that this show is not going to bullshit and give a false impression of a major character dying. Oh, I, I, I I completely agree with I that. I agree, too. Totally. So Glenn grabs him, look at me. You can see that Nicholas is just completely, like, not hallucinating, but he's just... He's out of it. He's he, he, he's having yeah. a panic attack. Right, exactly. His eye, all right. He says, thank you, puts the gun to his head. He just shot himself. The blood splatters on, on Glenn's face. Glenn's oh. natural reaction is to grab a hold of him. Oh, but, but Nicholas fell on top of him. Nicholas fell on top of him, dude. But, wait. Oh! Dude! Uh, dude! What? Are you watching it? Well, well, well no, I don't have... I, no, dude, I can't. Nicholas, I think, is on top of him. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not fucking around. I'm not fucking around. I don't believe it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I just got really excited. I don't know. Shit. Guys, everyone watching, type the number one if you have hit that thumbs up button. And type the number two dude, if you haven't yet. Dude, type three you if you're subscribed it? to me. And type oh, four if you're no, not subscribed to the that. channel yet. No, dude, I can't. Nicholas, I think, is on top of him. Hold on. Hold on. Nicholas did. Around. Nicholas I'm fell on top of Glenn. Around. He did. Okay. Let me get my headset wait, wait. back on so I can hear you, Pete. Okay. So did you watch it? Let me get to it. Okay. How far back can I rewind? Oh, I don't think my remote will go. Damn it! <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, it just happened like two seconds ago. All right. Well. Yeah. So. So. Okay. I may have spoken too soon, and I'm gonna explain why. When uh, Nicholas, like you said, the weight of Nicholas's body fell on top of Glenn, you could see it. Like, Glenn hit the ground first, which probably hurt like hell to begin with. Falling off a fucking dumpster hurts. Yeah. But Nicholas did fall on top of him. And when you see shit being ripped apart, it looks like they're ripping apart a body on top of him. But then, in the next shot, you can see it looks like they're actually ripping Glenn apart. So it's, I don't know if it's just camera tricks or whatever. Right, mm -hmm. Nicholas, Nicholas only partially covers Glenn, but Glenn's shoulder and the other body parts are exposed to walkers chomping very close by. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me, let me see if I could find it. Long dead, Glenn, death. Probably going to find my own video, but... Oh, yeah, some people already uploaded it. So it's on YouTube. Oh. Well, this makes it all convenient for me. Yeah. Oh, okay, you linked it for me. I did. God bless the internet. Seriously, man. It's just a shame all these are going to get taken down, probably. All right. Right at one minute and 32 seconds, you see Glenn 
is like like Nicholas is falling and falls on top of Glenn. Clearly. But then Glenn hits the ground and it's yeah. like, what the fuck happened? What what Why? I don't know though is like when Nicholas shoots himself in the head and that blood splatters on Glenn's face. Mm-hmm. Why did it they're both looking right at each other, but why did the blood splatter come from the side like that? It, it you know what, honestly, it was um you remember when you're in film school, the the 180 rule? Did, was that ever explained to you? Like they they, yeah, they uh, fucked uh, up yeah, on but that. Like like yeah, they fucked up, but like imagine me and you looking right at each other. If you were to shoot yourself in the head, like, you know, the side of your head, the blood splatter wouldn't even touch me. Unless, like, your head blew up. But if it did blow up, in that case, the blood would hit my face, the front of my face. Right. So either they messed up or there's some type of weirdness going on here. You see, I'll be honest with you, man. The way they shot this, it, I can see why people are coming up with all these is Glenn yeah. alive theories. I, I could see it now. Totally. <sighs> I'm, I'm probably going to regret doing this, but I'm, I want to see if, like, I can show just that bit of a clip. It's a review. It shouldn't... I shouldn't have an issue. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. I'm Dude, just... Like I was saying in, like, earlier about the shirts... Nicholas's shirt was green. Glenn's was gray. Right. And when they show Glenn getting ripped up, it, it looks like a, a gray shirt. Right. Hold on a sec here. Um, I'm trying to look through here so I can adjust the screen a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Uh, there it is. As much as I really don't want to show this. Okay. So, so, so they, wait, are you showing it for I'm sh- the I'm just audience? Sh- yeah, I'm just showing it so they can see. All right? He did fall on him. He definitely fell on him. But in this scene, it, it just looks like Glenn's chest is up too high. It looks like somebody's body is on top of him. But again, I think it's I think that's the way they shot it, you know? They just didn't want yeah. you to see. <clears throat> they just really didn't want you yeah. to see what was happening. Yeah. I mean, th- th- like that would be a pretty gory <laughs> right. thing to do. Exactly. But yeah, I think we like, can Like not only glo- like like gory, but it, it it it'd be saddening to see it in such detail. Your favorite character being killed in such detail. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I totally hear you on that one. But yeah, like it's there's no doubt about it. When it goes to bird's eye view, pause it. I know exactly what Mish was saying. It's uh, it's so up close. Because they don't want yeah. you to see the movie magic. They don't want you to see, like, oh, that's how they did it. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to get a fucking copyright for that shit now, but... I mean, it was only a little clip, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. Yeah. I hardly had the audio up, but... Um, what the hell was I going to say? Um, I mean, it's it's really hard to say, honestly. It's really it's really tough to say how they're how they're gonna do it. But it, it is what it is. That's just just how it's gonna go down. He died. <laughs> There's no way around it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but that's just the way they're gonna do it. Uh, Glenn's uh, dead. People should just quit thinking he's not. He's dead. <laughs> he is, unfortunately. That's just it's just the the bottom line. Um, but yeah, Tyler well, Nicholas' head wasn't even in the shot. That is true. They didn't show where Nicholas fell, but I guess they figured he just you know that it, he didn't need to be shown. Yeah. Like it's, me shown. Who, who cares? <clears throat> right. Exactly. Who cares at that point in the game? 
Uh, let's see here. We're at 28. We are at 28 So why likes. did they show the horse get eaten? That had a lot of gore seen in season one. Well, they've shown the horse because no one's attached to the horse. No one cares about the horse. People care about Glenn. <laughs> I care I mean, about the horse. <laughs> I'll be right, right back. Hold on. All right. Okay, take I'll, over, Tyler. I'll take over. The, as far as a psychological standpoint, when we're looking at characters and the show being ripped apart, like Dale, for instance, they that was gory, but they didn't go like all out like they did in some of the other deaths that happened in the show. Like they kept it a little bit censored because people have emotions for these characters. And I mean, besides Herschel. Like, Jesus Christ, when they showed Herschel get, like, half his head cut off and just, like, leaning over to the side and you see Herschel's blood spewing everywhere, that was pretty gory. But, I, like, I don't think they wanted to, such an iconic character like Glenn to kind of have that focused on gore. I think they wanted to have focus on emotion and, like, sadness. Like, oh, oh, my God, no. So, that's my thought. What I don't know is, like, your guys' thought. Do you think that they made Glenn's death appropriate or do you think that they kind of made it lame like was it a lame death cause I, cause I think Glenn should have went out in a more badass way I think they were just like a main character needs to die and they rolled dice and it was Glenn are you addressing that question just to everybody or yeah yeah to everybody like if I, well like know, I like, told you like I, like I told you earlier I think I if I was directing and I was the writer I would have done it like this, and I'll get the opinion of people in the chat. I already told you, and we'll just kind of get the idea. Because, again, going back to Season 1, Episode 2, with the horse situation, when, when Rick is in the tank, Glenn bails him out and saves his life, okay? So, naturally, I always thought that if Glenn was going to die, I think it should be another situation like that where, where it's Rick and him backed in a corner... And Glenn just puts his hand on his shoulder and he's like, "Go, go. You have a daughter. Yeah. You know, you have a son. Like, like let me let me do this. You know." And then Rick would be like, "No, no, I'm not leaving you behind." And then Glenn would be like, "I'm always bailing your ass out or something like that." You know, like on a badass line. And then you just see Glenn just, rah, rah, you know, just taking yeah. walkers out just to the bitter end. You know what I mean? Like you would be like, "No, no, no," but you, at least you mm -hmm. knew. At least you knew. Glenn's life was like his death meant something you know what I mean at least yeah. Rick Rick can go on and tell people what happened now they don't know how the fuck he died you know what I mean they don't they know nothing you know I personally think that's that's how it should have been done you know what I mean I, I because we all love them so much how could you not Glenn was the guy that went out to get the supplies he he had the biggest set of balls out of everybody you know what I mean like, yeah. even over Rick at that point, you know? He was the voice of reason with, with a lot of situations, you know? Yeah. Plus, he knew how to fix the RV. But beyond that... That's true. Beyond that, you know, I, I personally, I'm not I'm not happy at all with how they killed him, you know? No. I knew it was going to happen eventually because I had heard about stuff, like, that he wasn't going to make it that far. Well, I mean, he did make it pretty far in season six, but still. I don't know. I it wasn't Glenn's it chest... Oh. Sorry to cut you off, people. No, no, people, go ahead. People keep saying that the intestines were pulled from Glenn's chest, and they weren't. If you look in the shot, the intestines were pulled from below his chest. It just looks like it was his chest because of the way it, the angle is shot at. Right. Let, well, let's be honest. They they did that camera angle to save their ass with special effects. <laughs> like they, they well, totally well did. that, and also I think they made they might have done the camera angles that way to make it look like <gasps> maybe Glenn's not dead, and then there would be a big old de debate on YouTube and on Twitter of Glenn's possible not being dead a scenario going on. It's a it's a a stunt, a popularity stunt, but in all reality, if we all actually pay attention to what's going on, Glenn is dead. Wait, they geared the whole show to it, and the. Uh, Talking Dead, they show him in the Talking Dead being dead. They did they did their farewell to the actor. Right, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> um let's see. I think it is Nicholas like I'm actually reading the comments. There's a lot of comments on that video. Um, look very carefully at 201. His chest is okay. Glenn is still alive. They, look, they're arguing like crazy right now. Uh-huh. I mean, that's bitch. just what it is. 
Glenn didn't die. Here's why. <laughs> they, someone posted in the comment. Uh, uh, someone posted in the comment. Watch Glenn show up and fix the RV that Rick is in. All right. <laughs> okay. Dude, people. I I love listening to people with their clever shit like that. Um, Glenn didn't Glenn die. Did here's it. why. They got on the dumpster because they ran out of bullets, so there's no way he could have shot himself. He was just hallucinating because he kept blacking out during the episode. And a lot of people were like, whoa, it's a pretty good de- theory. Wait, who was blacking out in the episode? I don't know. Was he blacking out in the episode? No, I wasn't... Nicholas wasn't blacking out. He was having anxiety attacks. Right. He was, you know, he like, it was just overwhelming. He went from being a little punk ass bitch to being only kind of a bitch yeah you know what look dude right here from fault the guy that commented on the video out of all the ways he could have died a fan favorite out of all the ways he falls off a fucking dumpster yep yep you know that that is a pretty dumb way to die remember i said it wasn't heroic enough like, someone said he could have jumped off a building like some Mission Impossible but, shit, but no, he had a fall of a dumpster. <laughs> Let me stress this to MJ. Organs weren't pulled from his chest. <laughs> Shut up! It's just... Uh, he, he, they weren't pulled ten, from he, his chest. He's ten years old. He's like, getting... Oh, oh, he is? Okay, well, then never mind. He doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really get it, but... I, th- I thought this was, like, someone, you know, that had the comprehensive understanding to, like, know that... That, that's not his chest that has guts being pulled from. But yeah, all right, never mind. Nah, that's, you know, it is what it is. But I, I was letting a comment getting under my skin. Ugh. All right, movie man, if we're dumb, then then please elaborate in your theories. <laughs> you Wait, two is this are talking dumb. to me? Yes, both of us. Well, I, I did go to film school, so... I did as I well. <laughs> I know a little bit about what I'm talking about with camera angles and stuff. Absolutely. And one, the camera angle saved the great purpose because for special effects, they didn't have to spend a lot doing any CGI. Uh, two, it was a downward angle shot to, to, to show off Glenn's face, but also, but also the fact that there were intestines and stuff being ripped out. And if it was Nicholas on top of him, you know, then that could, that, then that could explain why it looked like guts are being pulled from his chest if it was just Nicholas on top of Glenn. He, he did say there was no blood coming from his mouth. I mean, that's to be deter- that's to be determined, you know. In, in in real life, the anatomy of your stomach, when you have guts being pulled out, it doesn't make mean blood's come gonna come out of your mouth. That would have to do with your stomach being ripped open and blood being pushed up your esophagus. That's I mean, I guess, when yeah. blood comes out. I I learned that because I used to deer hunt, and when you gut a deer blood didn't start pouring out of the deer's mouth until you actually you know started messing with the stomach and stuff right Glenn Glenn goes under the dumpster another one with the stone cold nope. Glenn goes under the, they never show you that though Glenn doesn't go under the dumpster I'll say this if Glenn is alive on this show then I lose all credibility and trust in AMC because they're basically going to do exactly what Marvel did or not Marvel, uh, DC, DC did with Superman. Kill him off, then bring him back, then kill him again, then bring him back. Or like how uh, uh, they did Goku in Dragon Ball Z. You know, once they introduced the Dragon Balls, that they can re-wish someone back. It was like, you didn't care if someone died. We'll just wish him back to life. I will tell you this, though, man. I'm re-watching it. They, uh-huh. they definitely could have crawled into the dumpster somehow. If they did crawl in, they would have actually made it. Because they wouldn't have yeah. been able to, they wouldn't have figured out how to open it. Well, well, zombies can't climb for one. Yeah, they can't. So climb. if if they can't climb in the dumpster, then there's no way they could have got at them. Right. But obviously, I bet in a um, intense situation like that, you're not really thinking of shit. Let's get inside this dumpster. You know. No, you're just panicking at that point. You have so much stuff going through your head during that time. Like, There's so many scenarios, and, and we're watching it from a third perspective, so it's easy for us. Of course. And let's also be honest here. I, you know, at this point in the game, if if Nicholas, if Glenn didn't have to babysit Nicholas, Glenn may have actually suggested, dude, let's jump in the dumpster, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, Link17. Uh, if they did kill Glenn, it wouldn't continue the story, and people would probably stop watching. I mean, eh, it's possible. 
I I will be right back, okay? Yeah. Tyler's gonna go work on his theories. <clears throat> Explain why there's no blood coming out of his mouth. No blood coming out of his mouth at all. No bites. I don't. You know what, man? I really don't have the. I, I don't. Have, I definitely don't have the answers. I mean, we're all just kind of discussing it together. You know. <clears throat> if Glenn survives, he definitely got bit. Well, yeah. I mean, that's totally possible. But again, we're not. We're not going to know until the next episode. We're not going to know what's happening. <clears throat> Oh, they have Talking Dead on now. What's up, Evan? And guys, everybody watching, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to Tyler. You know, for uh, taking his time out to be here with, with us, hang out discuss this stuff uh, type 111 if you would want us to do this again for next week's episode and type 222 if you don't Nicholas Guts are on blend then he, bend, then he blends in I mean it could be so what did you figure out I actually can't hear you Mic muted. All right. So, what was you oh, saying? Right. No, um, no. I was like, I, I said, I guess, uh, I guess Tyler went to go work on his on his Glenn death theory on the drawing oh. board. <laughs> no, uh, I heard someone yelling outside for my dog. So I was like, what the hell is going on? So yeah, I had to so go out there and see what the fuss was about. So I don't know if you see in the chat all the ones. Um, I asked everybody. I said, if you'd like us to continue doing this next week. Type one one one. If you don't want us to, type two two two, and that's the majority of everybody that <laughs> wanted us to do this again, which is great. I'm, 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 uh, First, all right. So what are we? Sorry. So what was the one 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 and the two two twos about again? Uh, if they want us to do this again next week, one for yes, two for no. So oh, okay. They, there well, were of no course, there's going to be ones. We're uh, yeah, we're awesome. Absolutely. Because there's so, nobody there's nobody else doing this. We're yeah. doing we're doing our own Talking Dead right now, pretty much. Yeah. You know. Honestly, it's. You know, I wish I could have more people on. To be Who knows? Maybe with some fan funding, we'll have our own set one day. Yeah. Who so, knows? Maybe me and Pete will be on the Talking Dead. How they were talking about. Uh, if you think you could be on the show, then send in a tape or whatever. For the Talking Dead? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They had it on there that if you want to be on the Talking Dead and be like, you know, sit there with the host and everything and talk about the show with everyone else, then you can. You just well, got to send in a submission video. Let, like, let's be honest. I feel like a lot of the times when they have guests on the show, um, mm -hmm. they're like people that hardly watch the show sometimes. They're like, yeah, I've been a big fan for a long time now. It's like, all right. But then, like, really, they should be putting fans on the show to really discuss yeah. stuff, you know? Well, I mean, well, like, it's just, it's basically like celebrity endorsement, pretty much. Right. They're promoting something. But, but like, uh, they have, um, the girl that was in the TV show Community, uh, the black woman, mm -hmm. she's on there, and like you can tell, she's a huge fan of the show. Oh yeah, of course. Because I mean, the one that's like, on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know her from Drake and Josh from Nickelodeon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She, she yeah. was on that show. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. She's a big fan of the show, but she is, as far yeah. as the other guy goes, I'm like, I don't, like, I don't like whatever. Who I like. I will say though, I love when they have Kevin Smith on the show. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin yeah. Smith has a very good outlook on uh, the show in its entirety. Um, what the hell was I going to say? But, um, yeah, man, I mean, sometimes these these TV shows, like, I wish we, I wish I had this available when Breaking Bad was on. Oh, my God, I would have had a mouthful for that, you know? Oh, yeah. oh I'm telling you, though, oh, my God, it, it'll only just be a fantasy. Oh, what? You know what they would call it? Like, you know, they, you know, Talking Dead, that's for The Walking Dead, like, like after show. Do you know what they would have had to have for Breaking Bad? You know, they did have one, right? Yeah, well, it would have been called Talking Bad. Yeah, that's what they did. They had what? one. What? They had one? Yeah, it was like for the last season. They got it approved, and Chris Hardwick was the host. 
Same thing. It was called oh, what, Talking Bad. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I thought I was on to a really good idea here, and they already did it. They did it. They did it, man. See, I didn't watch the season on TV because I was in college. Oh, that's why. So but yeah, they did. I didn't have cable, so I had okay. you know, go hold up, hold up, doorway. hold up, hold up. They're doing the in memoriam thing right now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. So oh, they're no. showing the walkers in the in the forest. Yeah. Okay. I'm watching this. Oh, you have it on? All right, let's yeah. see. Let's see. This is total abuse of technology, the folks. And they're being like decapitated right now. Correct. Rick's road. And Rick's road. road rage walkers. Yeah. It's like it's so weird that it's on at the same time on two TVs. Pet Shop Walkers. It's a good name for a band. <laughs> the, the Wolves and yep. R RV. I, dude, for a second, I thought that was Morgan. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, why? Why is Morgan turned bad? Oh, man. Uh huh. This guy blames Rick for everything, guy. That's true. I was like, fuck that guy. Oh, yeah, dude. He, he got wrecked. It Sturges. Yeah, he got pretty destroyed. Dude, he got mutilated. This chick, who's kind of hot, Annie. She was pretty for for an episode anyway. Yeah, she was. She was she was fappable. <laughs> I like how they just call him David. <laughs> yeah. David. And then he had the, the letter for Betsy. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, Nicholas. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Nicholas. And okay, and oh, wait a minute. You see? Are you seeing this? Yeah. Please don't let it be true. Please don't let this be true. But why? But but they didn't show Glenn. They did not put him in there. These people are right. They didn't put him. I've never, dude. I've never once seen them do that. Now, I'm. I I I, I will guarantee it. It is just because AMC wants this debate to be going on right now. Just they to, want that debate to keep because people watching. It, it keeps it trending. Like, you know, people are still trending about this on Twitter. They are having Facebook arguments. Couples are breaking up over this right now. They're, <laughs> Glenn is not fucking dead, you asshole. That's it. We're done. He's still I, I, alive. I can't, be, I, I can't be in a relationship with you no more. And then it, it keeps it viral. It, it keeps it going on. That's why they did it like that. See, look, Jennifer Santana, I told you. Yeah, you did. Guy on the left gets proven wrong. <laughs> That's you, guy on the left. I wasn't proved wrong on nothing. Glenn's dead. <laughs> now, if I was proved wrong in the fact that if I said in the beginning that they didn't have the uh, I told you so on there three times, what, what I'm saying was, where where is my 365 buck, Tyler? What? 365 buck? Is that, he's talking about a deer? What's up, Andrew Hudgens? And movie What's up? Man. Send me a pizza roll. Dude, I'd love some pizza rolls. I don't know. That's some great stuff. See, Tyler and Pete, I'm right. You you had a point. I don't know if you were totally right. See, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely got me thinking now because they didn't because after every character has died in the show, yeah. they always always put their name in. But maybe they decided not to. We're never gonna know until next episode. Or we can cheat and look at his IMDb page and see what episode it stops. I don't know if it's totally updated or if it updates by the episode. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. Steven Young. Um... Got a bunch of comments to catch. All right, dude. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead? He's not dead. Explain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you his IMDb page. I can't believe no one thought of doing this. Look. Look at all the episodes. It goes all the way into 2016. He's not dead. That's why they did that. No, no, no. Remember... 
They did what? say he would be in flashbacks and in, like, you know, uh, kind of like how they did for Lori with Rick when she died. Yeah, but... They still put her in the episodes after she died. It still was on the IMDb like that. It was? Mm -hmm. Sure? Yep. Look, look up Lori's stuff and look at the seasons. In episode three, she died. But she still is shown in episode five and, I, and like, you know, the ones afterwards. Let's see. Oh, uh, Lori Holden? No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's, that's Andrea. Um, uh, oh, what the hell is her name? There it is. Uh, Sarah oh, Wayne Callies. Yeah. She, she was in Present Break. And I had a crush on her. And then The Walking Dead ruined that. Dude, I might, I might have just stirred some shit up in the chat that I didn't mean to do. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? He's alive! This doesn't mean he's alive. This could just mean, you know, when he guest appears and stuff. When did she... What season did Lori die? They were in the prison. No. In, the, in The Walking Dead, season three, episode three, she died. So... That was 2012... Yeah. Because it does go up to 2013. Welcome to the Tombs and all that shit. Which was season 3, episode 16. Mm hmm. I don't know. I think I she was know. even in season 4. That I'm not certain of. I don't think so. Because I gotta, I gotta listen to what the hell Hartwick is saying right now. I like your face too, Saya. Thank you. We all like faces. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, see, like it shows her in episodes that was way after her death. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Are they really gonna, dude? Think about it. Are they really gonna be flashing back to Glenn every episode? Did you think of that? Because her shit is pretty sporadic. But dude. Look at him. 83 episodes. Episode... What, 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 what one are we on right now? We're on... Um, episode 3. So then 4 is he's not... He, here's not here. 5 is now. 6, there it's not named yet. But his goes all the way into 2016. Well, you, well, you gotta think. It, like... In The Walking Dead, they go to season or uh, episode six or seven, then they go on a mid-season break. Right, I understand so it would that. So come back in 2016. I understand that, but Glenn is listed on those episodes. In he's in that. I don't know, man. This is I'm 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 starting to maybe psych myself out here. I don't know. Does, is anyone is anyone looking at the IMDb page besides me and Tyler right now? Because he goes all the way, every episode. There's no way in hell that there's a flashback of Glenn every episode. No way. No way. Because think about it. What's her name? Uh, Lori, Rick's husband, uh, Rick's wife, was an important character. But she wasn't in every flashback of every episode. I don't know, man. Now it's now I'm confused. Because you know what? Gl wait, hold on wait, 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 wait. You heard you heard what Hartwick just said. Yeah, or, or or in the current story to uh, fulfill the story. Right, with Brittany or complete the story. I mean, with Brittany Baumgartner said, "Why wasn't Glenn on Talking Dead memorials?" They just said, "Please don't let it be true." What's up, Joker? I just feel like that would be a slap in the face to fans. Uh, it would. It absolutely would. And I'm like, how the hell does he escape from that? He's Glenn. He is Glenn. I don't give a shit who he is. I don't care if he was Dan the Survivor Man or if he was... <laughs> Dan the Survivor Man. It, nobody dude, knows who Dan dude, the Survivor Man you is. You want to get a million views? You want to get a million views? You're off tomorrow? Recreate the scene of how Dan the Survivor Man would go. Go find a dumpster, like in an alleyway near where you live. Get some friends. I would have helped you film it. And oh, just, I'll, I'll just get a green screen thing in there. Yeah, dude, it would be great for your, <laughs> it would be great for your zombies channel. Actually, Come on, Glenn, let's go fix some RVs. Actually, actually, I should I should just put your ZMZ Reloaded channel in there. In the, in yeah, the that's why I'm always confused about why you put my manifest game stuff in there and I got a zombie channel. I don't know. I just that's I thought that's your main thing right now. Oh, eat shit. 
Yeah, guys, everyone, please, definitely, as a way of saying thanks to Tyler. Tyler, let me tell you, I, I hate to kiss ass, but Tyler puts so much work into every video he's ever made. I hate to kiss my own ass, but I do put a lot of work in He does. Videos. He's all about the high production and really, really entertaining. I'm a lazy bastard. I just want to talk and rant and complain. I go, oh, I go so OCD sometimes. I will pull an all-nighter, go to work at my factory job at 5 in the morning, pulling an all-nighter, and then work, and then still come home and work some more and then fall asleep at, like, 7 o'clock. Show him, show him the dinosaur finger. Uh, I got two of them. He's got two of them. Look at the dinosaur fingers, guys. Tell, tell him what happened. Uh, hold on. Let me, I got to go to my face. There we go. It's not going to focus, but uh, I, they're I, actually not that bad for speaking for what happened. No, they're not that bad. I'm actually more surprised how good they look. The, yeah. the surgeon did a good job. Uh, I, I got my hand stuck in a uh, pressure saw, and um, when the blade was about to come up and cut my fingers, I ripped my hand back real fast, and then the tips of them got ripped off. Yep. They, they didn't come with my hand, unfortunately. Yeah, man, that could have been whatever. Way, it could have been way worse. Yep. Way worse. Now I can't pick my nose with those fingers. Yep. Brittany brought up another good point, and this is why I was saying this is why I asked you before, before Talking Dead was on. Um, why uh, Glenn isn't on the Talking Dead show either? Why when Tyrese died, he was on, not Glenn. He can't be dead because they oh dude, you know they always put that the person that just died on the Talking Dead. That's another reason. It's another reason, but it is a big slap in the face. I, regardless, if they decide to continue and bring Glenn back, I'm going to be happy. I'm not going to be one of those people all pissed off. Don't get me wrong, you know. Mm. But people will be upset, very upset. They take this shit way yeah. too seriously, you know. Yeah, it's like when you die. I mean, like, all right, duty. There, there's only two theories here: either Glenn isn't dead and something miraculous happens that saves his ass. It, for whatever reason you have on why Glenn's not dead, let's just say they're all true. Uh, or two, he is dead, but AMC is creating a bunch of hype and uh, misconcluded scenes that make it look like he could possibly still be alive. They get a shit ton of hype for the show, and they get it, and they get it trending, so people are like, I have to watch the show. Because mm -hmm. it's been spoiled all over Facebook and Twitter already by everybody. I mean, people are calling their moms who don't even watch a show going, I can't believe what just happened, Mom. Oh, Please. Talk to me. Please. Is is the trend cutting for Glenn going viral right now? No. Are you kidding? Or is that just a joke? No. No, I'm, I'm like a no. serious question. Like, is it or not? I think we should start the trend. <laughs> start the Glenn. <laughs> oh God! Start I'm the Glenn cutting, trend. I'm cutting for Glenn. Glenn would get on Twitter too. But you know what? If you go to Glenn's Twitter, Stephen Young's Twitter, he put R.I.P. Flip. I don't know what the fuck that means, but he could have been. He probably would have wrote like, "Guys, this has been so great being a part of your lives for the past five years. Uh, yeah. You know, it's sad to see the, the cast go, dude. He didn't do that." All of them do that. You know? Alright, right now The Walking Dead is the number one trending hashtag going on right now. Right. Greg Hardy is next. Well, besides like Hell in a Cell and My Significant Other in Four Words. <laughs> my Significant Plan. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone go on Twitter right now and make cutting for Glenn a, a, a hashtag trending hashtag. Hashtag cutting for Glenn. Hashtag uh, cutting for Glenn. <laughs> and on. then get like ketchup and smear it on your wrist or something. Make it funny. We'll get it going on. That way AMC has to make an apology. Could you imagine that, dude? Oh my god, they'd get in so much trouble. What if that did go viral and people... You know, I feel bad because, like, what if people, like, seeing our, like, cutting for Glenn thing was like, I agree, and start cutting their wrists because, they're, you know, they have low IQs, and then people actually do end up cutting themselves, and then AMC has to make a whole apologetic thing, and then we get blamed for it. <laughs> That's in a world where we're relevant, though. We're not there yet. No, 
not even close. Yeah. Cutting for Glenn. There we go. Did you actually do it? No, but I put it on the stream. Hashtag oh, okay. cutting for Glenn. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, imagine that shit. There would be... There, there definitely would be someone stupid enough to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the sad part about it. People would. Someone out there would. It's just a matter of time. They definitely would. Now, if Judas dies on the show... Man. Just ripping Judas to shreds. That would be horrible. You know what I heard someone say is they can't kill Carol off. My, my, my cousin was telling me this when, when we were watching the show. He said they can't kill off Carol because she is too much of a main <clears throat> character. And because... And, and because she used to be an abused housewife that now is the baddest that can take care of herself and that's why they can't kill her off because she appeals to the abused women demographic like it would actually be a, like a life threatening situation if she actually got killed off like for real life people that look up to her no like it like they like it would put AMC in, in a bad spotlight <clears throat> no yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying. <laughs> not at all. Not in the least bit. Either my cousin's making shit up, or he is getting some really bad sources for his shit. No way. No way at all. But, anyway. Um, I mean, we could keep talking and talking about it, but we're just going to keep coming up with more and more theories. But what I actually want to do is I want to go and watch the rest of The Talking Dead. I might even watch the episode again. I don't even know. Because we've been on here for an hour and 35 minutes already, so... Yeah. Um, well, any... Let's answer one more question, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, someone asked, also, you guys do know he was on set last week filming, right? Like, But like they said in The Talking Dead, they're, they are going to have flashbacks, and they are going to have other stuff, which would, which would mean he would still be in filming right now. Oh, son of a bitch! Dude, you, I didn't even think of that. You know what they might do is they may still have him in the episodes, but just like like flashbacks of stuff like um, that they just never showed, right? Like yeah. something that was never actually aired in previous episodes, but it's new to us. You know what I mean? Like it was in, it was basically not shown to us before, but in new episodes, it will be a flashback of, of something where he still is filming. He is still part of the cast of the show, but not in present time. Does that now, make David Pete, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. <laughs> With Lori. <laughs> oh, that's what you were saying? Yeah. Oh. The fuck were you thinking I was saying? I thought you meant like, like, like the black and white style, like flashbacks or something of like just reshowing no. something. Oh, no, I like was, I was talking about like when Rick was going crazy and was seeing Lori everywhere. Oh yeah, yes. And then when they were like, yes. you know, about to have um, yes. the, the 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 people from the governor take over the prison, like and they when, showed them getting ready to get out of the prison and get and get in the car and leave, and you see Lori on top of the balcony area looking yeah. down at Rick, you know, yes. holding her stomach. Right, like like when Tyrese was hallucinating. And he saw Beth, and he saw Bob, and all them, you know? Yeah. Like, right, okay, yes, yes, I think we may see that. That's for sure. Why was Glenn still on set if he was dead? AMC could go that far to make fans think Glenn isn't dead? Doubtful, Glenn lives. <laughs> I don't know. Glenn was on set because they were filming flashback episodes. Yeah. I think, I think Tyler might be right on that. That would actually make the most sense. Absolutely, I could totally. And also, see that. maybe on IMBD they have it released, so they're still like showing for every episode, so it's not spoiled on when the character dies. Maybe. I mean, because if you want to go look and see who dies, then you could just be like, "Oh, we'll just go on IMDb and then see if their episodes stop." <laughs> yeah, that's actually I mean, a good way to do it. So, so they're probably just like, "We'll just put them on for the rest, and then once they actually die, then you just delete the others." Mm -hmm. So, I mean. You can't go by if he was on set, if he wasn't on set. Because even in The Talking Dead, they say, hey, he's going to be on flashback episodes. By the way, just totally off topic since we're talking about a TV show. Does anyone or has anyone ever heard of the show Elementary? Do you know the show? 
Yeah, I love that show. Do you actually watch that show? I, I haven't started season two, but I watched season one. Thought it was pretty awesome. I love the whole like Sherlock Holmes things. Okay, like, because I love all of them. I guess I never told you, but I'm actually um, I'm in the beginning of uh, episode nine of this season. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Pete's yeah. becoming a superstar. Yeah. So if anyone, uh, you're gonna have to look out for me. Season uh, season four starts. Um, November 5th so I'm in episode did 9 did you ask if you could use the footage that you're in on your, your YouTube channel no but I, I would I would I would just use it <laughs> like and I, and I would file the, I would basically you know counterclaim it and win you're like you oh know? I'm in this <laughs> it's like this is me clearly but yeah so uh, season uh, season 4 episode 9 I, I will I, I'm in the opening scene I don't have any lines but I'm right there next to the main actor uh so it's pretty sweet. It's pretty, Movie pretty man dope. says he was in all new clothes with the gun holster. Well, if they were doing flashbacks, then he would be in different clothes than the ones he died in. He definitely would. Hey, you know what? We're we we haven't seen the last of Glenn, but we've seen the. I think we've seen the last of Glenn in present times in the show. And you know, if this took place like something happened maybe in the town that wasn't in the main show like maybe it was like kind of like a side story you know like in games how you have side missions yeah. or side events that like occur. grand theft auto yeah yeah i mean this could have been one of those side things that were going on that wasn't a part of the main series and that's why glenn was in different clothes where you know having different objects so it, it just it's stupid to say that's the reason why glenn will be or is not dead that's the reason why he's not dead <laughs> I think that and all the other stuff that everybody has said it has nothing to do with why Glenn is not dead it will be if Glenn isn't dead it will be because of a reason none of us were expecting hold up yeah I was just yeah I, I you know what Dylan I, I wasn't even looking at your message and then it just popped in my head what if Glenn is a walker Nobody thought of that. <laughs> I didn't think of that till now. What do you mean? What if Glenn is a walker? What if he comes back as a walker? Well, the, well, the, well then he wouldn't be in different clothes. No, he wouldn't be in different clothes, but he still could come back as a walker. Maybe Maggie's got to kill him. Maybe. Like, we, we might see him later. Come Maybe they the, chain the him up and, you know, he's like a, like, like Michonne. Maggie's pet. You know, kind of like how like Michonne had her pets. And the governor had his daughter as a pet. Yeah, and then Maggie's just like, I can't kill my husband. Oh yeah, and I, uh, I, don't, I kind of feel like I Maggie would. I, yeah, I don't believe that. I was like, I think, that was just me being sarcastic, but yeah. yeah. I think I think Maggie would. Uh, Link seventeen. I'm gonna be on episode nine of season four of the show Elementary with um, Johnny, whatever his name is, and Lucy Liu. I mean, I didn't I didn't work with them. But I'm in the opening scene. I'm the guy on the construction site running the wood chipping machine right on camera. So, like, they were doing close-ups and everything. I mean, it was really cool. It was a really, really good experience. <clears throat> anyway, I got paid 140 bucks to be there. <laughs> so that was cool. Well, let's talk about Rick. Uh, we see his hand getting, like, cut or something. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing people. Does, it, does this mean... Uh, Rick is going to turn into a walker. No, absolutely not. No. But because I, at this point, it's, it's pretty much established that everybody's infected, and you don't get infected by blood because there's two different types of the infection. There's one that turns into a fever that kills you, and there's the one that lives in everybody that when you die turns you into a zombie. Right. Especially like if you die of natural causes or whatever. Yeah. It's like if, if, if you die, you come back, unless you have brain damage of some kind. Right, trauma to the brain. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, but Rick was injured. Um, yeah, I, yeah, his hand did get injured. Right. I think we may see what happened in the comics, and he may get his his hand taken off, like amputated. Nick wouldn't. Uh, Nick. Rick wouldn't even hesitate in doing that. Honestly. Yeah, because his hand is gone in the comics. So. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Maybe. Um, his hand gets cut and he gets a blood infection and he has to cut off his own hand or something. All right, Evan, take it easy, man. Yeah, I I could totally see that see that happening. Absolutely. What is with the Walking Dead and hands? Uh, well, hands are pretty common to get screwed up and get you in trouble. Richard, I mean, it's the things that get injured the most on your body is your hands. 
Right, exactly. When Rick got his ass kicked by who? Didn't Rick get his ass kicked a couple of times? Yeah, he, well, he got his ass kicked by the governor pretty bad. Yeah, he did. Governor, and he got into a fight with Shane, too. Yeah. Well, we did, I wouldn't say he got his ass kicked, but he did get roughed up a little bit. By Shane? Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, any other... Any other questions, guys? Uh, otherwise, we'll probably start wrapping things up over here. Because Tyler's got a lot of editing to do. Oh, yeah. It's 2.30. There's all sorts of stuff I got to do. So any final questions that basically would not lead into a an hour, another hour-long discussion? Because yeah, we will be doing more of these. I promise. So... Uh, they can't cut his hand off because it would cost a lot to cut out each episode. And Merle. Like, yeah, that's true, but I'm sure AMC ha makes plenty of money to be able to do something like that. Yeah, I don't even think they would hesitate on that one. Glenn Fell. I mean, uh, they, they could just do something like they did with, you know, Merle. I right. I mean, Merle had his hand cut off, so they just put, like, a little casting thing over it and make, gave himself a cool blade. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, so they could do the same with Rick if they really wanted to. Why did Nicholas say thank you to Glenn? That's a good question. Uh, for Go ahead. you can explain kill... that one. Oh, okay. Do you want to explain it? Cause I'll cause I'll let you explain it. No, no, no. I I actually liked your explanation when you told me before. Cause I asked you the same question. Oh, okay. Uh, it's it, it's it's because he said thank you because Glenn could have killed him in the woods, but Glenn gave him another chance to basically change and become a survivor and you know uh, be better as a human being, like actually care for people and stick up for them and be something bigger than just himself mm -hmm. and I, I think in that moment he realized that and was like you know what thanks Glenn but my time has come right exactly so he, he shoots himself because mm -hmm. I'd rather die that way than being torn up by zombies I agree there's a hair on my nose man it is just it's like crazy <laughs> oh god no! Well, anyway, on that note, um, I just want to say thanks to everybody that showed up. We had a whole bunch of people here. Um, Tyler, thank you for being part of it, as always. always oh, no problem. Much appreciated. Um, if, if you don't want to subscribe to me, that's no problem, but please subscribe to Tyler because he actually does zombie-related videos, which are absolutely excellent. Lots of fun and entertainment. You should do a top five for this one if you can muscle it, muster it up. I don't know. Uh, man, it'll take a while. It's already 3 o'clock. I'm going to have to yeah. film that, write a script out for it. Oh, yeah, that's true. But wishful thinking. Um, but uh, <laughs> Tyler's links are in the description down below. YouTube.com slash ZMZ Reloaded TV or ZMZ Reloaded? Just ZMZ Reloaded. Right. And then uh, if you're into gaming, YouTube.com slash Manifest Gaming TV. Don't forget to subscribe. And when you go to his channel, leave him a comment saying, Pete sent you. All right? So that's it for t um, this little podcast thing um thank you for everybody that participated i'm trying to hit 600 subscribers i'm working my way up there I'm getting close Get close getting close uh and we will uh we will see you when we see you pretty soon maybe well next next episode yeah uh and then we will see what the fate of glenn truly is i think he's still dead tyler still thinks he's dead but we'll see what happens all right Anyway, that is really all I gotta say. Uh, oh, actually, hold on a second. Uh, this is listed under sports. You can see that. Hey, hold on a second. It is. Oh, it is listed under sports. Oh, I have that as my default. I, I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that because it's not sports. Um, entertainment. It's some sort of entertainment. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe on the way out. And uh, Tyler, anything else you want to say? Keep on living. Keep on living and bring Glenn back, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a great night, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. And everyone, comment Walker Mania in the comment section. Oh, Lester can go fuck himself. How about that? Nah, that's all right. He says The Walking Dead sucks ass. Well, then he probably shouldn't be here. All right. No. That's it. It's enough. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. See you later, guys. Peace. Subscribe. Sucks ass.